Hey guys, MC Crawl here, and welcome to lesson one of my Redstone Rulebook series. Uh, if you guys have not seen, um, if you guys don't know what this series is about, I do encourage you guys to please watch the introduction uh, episode. That way, you guys can, uh, you know, get to know what exactly this series is all about. All right, moving on. Uh, episode one will be on the Redstone Ore. Uh, just a few facts to throw out here for you guys. Um, one block equals uh, one meter in real life, uh, or three feet. So just kind of keep that in mind, because uh, this will come in handy later in the future. Uh, and uh, it can be found uh, between levels 1 and 19. Um, so it's pretty far down there, um, close to diamond. Diamond's like 1 in 16. Uh they can be found in veins of 1 and 14, and each ore drops between 4 and 6 redstone dust. And there's my son saying sorry in the background. Uh, it can only be mined uh, with an iron axe or better, iron pickaxe, <laughs> to be more specific. Now for the little bit trickier stuff that you guys probably didn't know. Uh, for one, when you left or right, click or step on uh, the redstone ore will activate a animation and also trigger a light level of nine now this is kinda what we're gonna be talking about today as far as uh, redstone ore um, so if I can just show you an example so I don't drop something I'm getting really close so I don't break it and I'm also right clicking at ah, damn it I knew that's gonna happen uh, and as you can see, there's the little animations, just like the what redstone has when it's powered. Just kind of show you guys what I mean. You guys notice redstone has this little spit animation. So will this when I right-click it. Damn it, keep putting stuff on it. Um, and uh, there's no like specific amount of time that it lights up like that. It's actually pretty random. Uh, the wiki says that it's three seconds, and that's incorrect. It is very random between one second and I've seen up to 10 seconds. Uh, I haven't done much testing as far as that's concerned. Uh, however, that's n really not too important. Now we will get on to the, what I like to call the cool part of the show. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're actually going to create uh, a gadget. Specifically using this one block. It's, of course, we're going to use other blocks. Uh, that can go with it, no problem, but m our main focus is what can this block do for us. And uh, that's what I'm going to show you guys right now. I'm going to build it really quick. Uh, let's see. Alright, uh, I am not going to start with our redstone block. Actually, you know what, I can start with our redstone block, and it's getting night time. No! All right, so we'll start here, and what I'm going to be creating here next to it is what we call uh, a bud switch. Um, this is not something that was invented by Etho, but he popularized it. Uh, a bud switch is better known as a block updater, uh, a block update switch. Uh, update, it's my bad, uh, block update detector, uh, so a uh, switch. So technically it's buds. Uh, but, uh, so what we're doing here and, and why we're doing it is because of this little animation, uh, that's considered an update. Uh, so with this, we can actually make this block trigger anything we want. So, I mean, make it trigger this bud switch, which will then power another object. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this bud switch here really quick. Uh, there are different variations. This one may not be as compact as the other ones that you guys have seen. Uh, it all depends, I, I guess. Uh, let's see. I'm just building this off of memory here. Uh, let's go that one. That one's set to two. I need that. And I think that's it. Yeah, very simple. It is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In fact, uh, no, that's. I think that's as, as compact as we can get it. Hmm. Yeah, I was thinking maybe I can get it more compact than that, but I, I can't think of it at the moment. But let's check it out. 
So here it is. I'm going to go ahead and step on it and make it easier because right-clicking throws down redstone. I want you guys to get confused. So as you can see, and it got stuck. Why did it get stuck? Oh, <laughs> I didn't use a sticky piston. <sighs> Fail on my part, guys. Fail on my part. Oh, no. I have to wait till the animation goes away. All right, we're waiting for the animation. And I stepped on it again, so I think it may have reset the animation. And it stopped. Oh, because it's staying powered. I'm gonna just going to move that. And then if I place it there. Dang it. I'm, I'm setting a reset loop here. Here, let me, let me take this out. Let me reset it. Put my block here. Put that there. Now, there we go. Now it's set. So I step on it, and it triggers it. So uh, technically, our output is this right here. Uh, so yeah, it just turned off. Uh, it does trigger twice. That is a problem. Uh, like if you're doing like certain doors and stuff. So just to kind of show you guys what's going on here. I am going to put a door. Um, I actually made a video if you guys... I don't know if you guys have seen... Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, the buds, the way the bud switch works, there's multiple areas you can place blocks and it'll still work. See, like right there. And I'm just going to case these right here. We'll just put a door... I'm failing hard at this. Let's put a door right there. Uh, uh, uh. Now, I highly suggest if you're using a bud switch to use a T flip flop, unless, you know, it's. It wouldn't work that way. It just depends on what you're working with. Where's the door? There it is. Alright, so we're just going to run some power. Oop, I went one block difference to the door. Alright, now let's. I can't place a block on it, so there we go. As you can see, it went really quick, and when it turned off, it did it quick again. Um, I guess for the functionality's sake, I will go ahead and use a T flip-flop here, just to show you guys that this works. Um, let's see. One of the most recent T flip-flop flip -flop, flip flops we've been using. Oh, okay, I remember now. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. So I'll put this sucker there. Yeah. And I'm going to remove these so that I can place my blocks. One block. Torch. That's my output. I'm going out this far because I don't want to be within two blocks of that so oh fail why did I put two blocks there alright now uh, unfortunately it's set in the opposite in which we want oops did not mean to press that anyways uh, will that work in every single one doesn't work there. That's crazy. But every time I place a torch on there, it works fine. I wonder... Switches? No, no switches. But if you place a torch on there, it does it every single time. That's cool to know. Then you can walk in, and when the animation goes away, it will close it. Huh, that's pretty cool. Alright, guys. Well, this is the... Uh, uh, little contraption that I came up with using the bud switch uh, and the redstone ore. Um, I also have a video using a uh, making a hidden cave, and there goes the clo uh, door closing. Uh, if you guys want to go ahead and check it out, that is in one of my history videos. It's actually one of my most popular videos, uh, hidden cave or hidden room using bud switch. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the first episode of Redstone Rulebook. And uh, next episode will be on Redstone. 
Dust and ore. Uh, that's dust. I mean, uh, it'll be on dust and wire. Alright guys, I will see you next episode, and as always, peace off.